the best moments in life are not only about the things you do, but also about the things that happen to you. Today, in this second video of Visor Wednesdays with Vinita, we will be evaluating the SWOT list that we created in the previous week. And this starts with the method of matching. The method of matching is all about how you match your internal and your external factors. Thinking what internal and external factors are all about? Well, internal factors are things which you have control over, which includes your strengths and weaknesses. External factors are things which you cannot control over, something which is happening outside you, which includes your opportunities and your threats. When we match our opportunities and our strengths, we can take action. Similarly, when we match our weaknesses and our threats, we know that where are we going wrong. Starting with the part of strengths and opportunities. Suppose you're really good at coding. That is your strength. And uh, there are a lot of hackathons which are taking place in your company, some competitions which are taking place. And there are some freelance projects also which you can take up. So those are the opportunities which are happening around you. Make use of them. In that way, you are combining your skills with the opportunities which is which you have. Coming to the part of weaknesses and threats. Well, suppose you are a little impatient or you get angry really fast. When some work is not done, you get very impatient and angry. And this affects your team. And you get a kind of pressure from the high authority saying that you have to work hard. And that is how... You become more angry and you, be, you become more impatient. Well, I would say, breathe. Take a breath. So, take a long breath and take a small break as well. And also, don't compete with the people around you. Instead, learn to collaborate and cooperate with them. Remember the time when uh, our moms or our parents used to compare ourselves with that Sharma ji ka or Beta or Beti next door. That Beta or Beti used to be good at everything, super talented, co-curricular activities, where being a topper, he was good at every little thing. And you used to wonder as to where am I going wrong? What I'm working so hard, but I'm not getting the kind of results I want. So instead of competing or being envious about that beta or beti, go to that beta or beti and ask about the practices which he or she follows. In the same way, when you are getting impatient, when you are getting really angry, take help from others around you. Cooperate with them, collaborate with them and ask them as to what are the things where you can work upon or some if you're getting stuck at anything, ask for help. In that way, you are improving yourself. And... One more thing to add is that I told you that you should also take help from your friend who knows you very well to make the SWOT list. So when you compare the two lists, one which you created yourself and the second with the one with your friend, see the points which are different and ask your friend as to what is it that made him realize that you are a good motivator or a good influencer. Ask them about that because then you get to know that you are actually good at something. Because sometimes it is your close ones who know you very well more than yourself. And keep revisiting the list every month. Add on to your strengths. You can remove your weaknesses. Figure out and introspect every month because this really helps you to excel every time in whatever you do in life. And with this, I will see you all soon next week. Hope this video was helpful. If you really like it, do share it, subscribe to my channel and you know the rest. Thank you so much.